Okay, Tao, thank you so much for being here in our class. So a class, uh, you know, a new class full of expectation. So let me ask you something, Tao. What did we talk about before? In uh, before, what did we talk about in our last class? Um, we talk about the changing opinion. Changing opinion, that is right. Okay, so we also have, let me just review a little bit of the lesson. So this way you can, uh, allow me just one second. So this way you can refresh. So let me show you. So can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Okay. So it was, uh, this one was our previous, le previous lesson, I'm sorry. Okay, exchange opinion, which means like uh, interactive, you know, like giving opinions, you tell me, you tell me, I tell you, you tell me. And you know, like the interchange of ideas, of opinions. So that's that was our previous class, all right? Also in our previous class, so we were trying to substitute, you know, different types of words, uh, all right? So I don't know if you remember this exercise. And also we mentioned Tao in our previous class, words like, or expressions rather, expressions like I really like, I hate, I prefer, I would like to, I don't like very much, uh, especially to express, right? Things that maybe we like, or maybe things that we dislike. Talking about opinions, especially personal opinions. So in addition to this, in our last class style, yeah. we were discussing in regards a conversation uh, I remember uh, one of the exercises, we also talk about hobbies and interests, all right? You doing the, the exercise, exercise number three. So we discuss about that. So we also listen to the dialogues, to the common activities, all right, the speaker were doing, okay? So like, yes. uh, we also refer to this kind of nouns, I mean, adjectives and nouns, so we organize a sentence. And in addition to this, we have, all right, an exercise, all right? So then the homework was uh, the exercise number 10, all right, in which you, you were going to create a conversation pretty much, and your conversation, okay, I need to have the following. So you will need to ask and answer questions about your hobbies. Uh, you will need to, to give opinions about your partner hobbies, et cetera, things like that. So yeah. I saw the conversation in, in the email. Uh, to me, it was very interesting. So could you please read the conversation so I can check it out? Mm -hmm. do, you, do you have it over there? Yes. Yeah. Could you please read it? Mm -hmm. uh, Harry. Hi, my name is Harry. What's your name? Nice to meet you, Harry. I'm I. Uh, nice to meet you, too. Are you a student in this class? Yes, I am. Are you in this class, too? Yes, we are commit. So what are your hobbies? I love playing guitar and playing computer games. What about you? I love playing guitar. Yeah. Uh, oh, I love I love playing guitar too. It's in my specialty. What? When did you start playing it? I started I started playing guitar when I was seven. And you? I played the guitar two years ago. Can we just meet uh, on on this weekend? and play together. Okay, in the morning. Yes, morning or 9 a.m. Perfect. Let, let's meet at my house. Okay, I will come. 
Okay. Yes. Well done. It was, you know, uh, you know, it was a meaningful conversation. So you really put into practice what I told you to do. Congrats. So you did it well. So just be careful. Uh, something I'm gonna is this is just a suggestion, Tao. When uh, you are going to pronounce, for example, something, or maybe there is a word that you do do not, all right, identify the pronunciation of the words. So you can first look for the pronunciations of the words, and then you do it in the conversation. That's just an observation. So this way you can uh, it, all the time do it better. You did it very well. You did it well. So just yeah. in, you know, Thank you. give me any type of pronunciation or something that we, you know, we can do better. So now, thank you, Tao, for your homework. It was fantastic to me. So now we are having a new topic. And let me ask you something, Tao. What is our new topic? Uh, the new topic is uh, a personal life. Okay, a personal life. All right, so let's see. So here I want you to, this exercise, I think it's very simple compared to the other ones we did before. So this is the first exercise. And then we jump to others. Let me share again. Okay, so this is the first exercise we're going, we are going to be dealing with. Okay, look at this. Now, the first thing we are going to do is to read the profiles, all right? We are going to read the <laughs> profiles. Then after that, you are going to tell me, Tao, which information, okay, which information do both of the profile contain? Uh, then we're going to tick the boxes. So later we're going to check that. Okay. Okay, so let's start reading. So I want the first thing I want you to be focused on, especially in the characteristics. We can find or similarities. So two things that I would like you to pay attention to. Uh, in this, in those two texts, all right? So we're gonna yeah. pay attention to characteristics and similarities. What is similar, what is different, all right? So let's just pay close attention. Let's just start with Rose and then afterwards, Abigail, mm. Mm. Um, would you mind help me reading? Would you mind reading? Yes. My name is Ross. I'm 17 years old and I live in Boston in USA. I'm quite a friendly person and rather sensitive. At least I think so. My friends say I'm sometimes slightly impatient. impatient and I can be a bit lazy about school work. I like being around really confident people and also people who seem interested as me. I enjoy outdoor activities. I do a lot of, of surf, surfing and swimming and a bit of climbing too. Okay, sounds very good. So only the word, uh um the previous word you mentioned confident right only this confident confident okay so now let's continue let's check what's going on with abigail okay yes, yes abigail hi i'm abigail i'm 16 years old and my home is in san diego california i'm ready to working and very loyal. I get on well with funny people. I'm quite, I'm quite an ambitious person. I was to study medicine at university. I'm not very tolerant, tolerant of lazy people. I'm interested in book and I spend lots of time reading. My hobbies are chess and computer games. And I'm crazy about rock and rock music. About rock music. Okay, so something I'm gonna help you. So yeah. this one, uh, just to, just to let you know, San Diego. San Diego is a city of California. 
California in the United States, right? right. So and something else, something else, this word now. So can you mm -hmm. see here? Could you please read this one? Ambitious. Oh, this one is pronounced ambitious. Ambitious. Like um, like this. Look at me. Ambitious. Ambitious. Look at this. Look at the way how I pronounce. Look at how I open the mouth. All right. Yeah. Pronounce ambitious. Ambitious. That's. <laughs> if you want, my recommendation is even uh, to write it like the way it's pronounced. You know that it's not the way how you're going to write it. It's just the way how it sounds. And this way it's going to be easier for you to remind uh, or to remember how it sounds. So let's continue the next one. So uh, there is something that, uh, there is something here that make me laugh. She said, she says like, she uh, actually, the explanation states that um, Abigail says that she's not very tolerant about lazy people. <laughs> actually, she likes people, people to work, you know, that work a lot, apparently. So let me see what else. Well, mm. pre pretty much it, all right? So, <clears throat> Let's compare something. So let's compare uh, two things here, Tao. The first thing we are going to compare is the 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 both profiles, all right? <clears throat> Sorry. Do they have their hometown? Uh, yeah. That's right. Let's see. That is correct. Let's continue here. Let me see. Okay. Uh, do they refer to the profiles, all right? Do they both yeah. refer to their personality? Uh, yes. Okay, perfect, very good. So do the profiles refer the type of people they like? Uh, I think no. Let's see, let's see here. Uh, let me see, before, okay, before, something we're going, we are going to consider, okay? So look at what he says, all right? Yeah. So remember the, no, the number three. So the number three states, the type of people they like. Oh, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, actually it makes uh, a little bit <laughs> a little bit of the reference. So let me ask you something. Do the profiles right? Do the profiles yeah. refer the type of people they don't like? Uh, uh, you can, um, no. Let's see. So, well, actually, so it's referring both profiles, all right? And that is not yeah. really, pretty much is kind of like referring that like one profile, especially Abigail's, all right, is the one that refers that people that she doesn't like. However, yeah. I see that Rose is not like so specific as Abigail is, as Abigail is, all right? So. No, I see. Number five, Tao. So we got number five. So the hobbies. Do both profiles refer to their hobbies? Uh, What's your opinion? I think no. I think um, uh, uh, ability. ability. You mean like yeah. abilities? I think no. Okay, let me see. Let's just check. Let's just verify before we answer Tao. Let's just yeah. So let me see. So look at, um, let's read at least the one sentence before the, uh, let's read at least three or two sentences before the last one. 
So look at what uh, Rose is saying. Uh, at least two sentences or uh, one or two sentences before the last one uh, the paragraph in the test. Uh, I enjoy outdoor activities. I enjoy mm. outdoor activities. Yeah. I, I do. I do a lot of surfing and swimming and a bit rock climbing too. Okay, so now let's go on. Let's see what happens with Abigail. Uh, Abigail, uh, my hobbies are chess and computer games, and uh, I about rock music. Now I am going to ask you again, Tao. So this question is for you one more time. So do both profiles share their hobbies? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. You see? Very good. I just wanted you to think, all right? That's very good for you. So do both profiles share their ambition ambitions? I think your sick is no. That is correct. <laughs> they don't share their ambitions because hey, can you please explain me? Tao, could you please tell me why both profiles do not share their um, their ambitions? Uh, because the, in the, in Ross, it's not the, how about the, about his ambition and bigger talker. Uh, I'm quite an ambitious person. I want to study medicine at university. <laughs> That's right. That's correct. Abigail says, Abigail says, I want, all right, I want to study okay. medicine at the university. However, uh, when we look the other side, what about, what about Rose? What, what is he saying? Say that again, that part. Uh, I Thing, yeah. I uh, can be a bit lazy uh, about school and I like being well, confident people. Confident people and people and uh, pe ask people who share the same interest as me. That's right, that is correct. So we see yeah. here. Do you see how the different we have yes. in this hemisphere, all right? In this, uh, you know, in this side, all right, we are having an Abigail that is passionate about medicine. And in the other side, in the other hand, so we have, an, uh, you know, Rose uh, that is not passionate about a schoolwork, meaning homeworks or activities or research and things like that. So, yeah. you know, so now we are having, we're going to jump, all right? We're going to jump and we are going to continue with this exercise, Tao. So here is what we are going to do. So we're going to complete the phrases for talking about hobbies and interest. So, and then we are going to use the words below. Number one, all right? So let me see. So something that we are going to keep in mind is to fill the gaps using the vocabulary above, the above vocabulary. So let's see what's happening here. The number one, I'm. Uh, I'm interested in. I'm in, uh, that's right, I'm interested in. I am interested in. Okay, so number two. Uh, um, I do, uh, I enjoy. I enjoy. That's right. I enjoy. So number three. Uh, is I'm crazy about. I'm crazy about. What does that mean yeah. to you? Like, let me ask you something. Do you have any idea when you refer about, oh, I'm crazy about? Uh, I think I'm crazy about, like, uh, I love, I love something, uh, I love doing something. 
Okay, are we going to discuss this later after this exercise? Let's yeah. This is what we are going to do. We are going to finish with this exercise once we are once we are done with this, so then we discuss it, all right? So, yeah. let's out. I'm I I do a bit of, uh, no, sorry, number four. I do a bit of or a lot of or a lot of that's right that's right and the last one is my hobbies are my hobbies are that is correct so there Tao we are going to do the following please pay close attention so you have in the first one I'm interested in all right so which means that you are or you may be interested in doing something all right so I enjoy so, which means that you are having fun by do, you are having fun by doing something. I am crazy about. So now let me ask you something. Uh, let's do exercise number five. I want you to find a phrase in each profile later when we finish with this part. That means I like to be with. So that's gonna be for the exercise number five. But going back going backwards to the exercise number four when you say for example thou when you say for example i am crazy about so you are saying that you like something a lot yeah so i'm crazy about fast food i'm crazy about mcdonald's i'm crazy about burger king i'm crazy about wendy's taco bell or maybe I'm crazy now. I'm crazy about Vietnamese food. Can be possible. <laughs> so, what is the typical Vietnamese food now? Uh, I think it's a. Do you guys love seafood? Mm, yeah, I think yes, but mm, a little. And uh, I think the kind of core is. Uh, um, uh, so, uh, it's like a noodle. Oh, noodles. All right, noodles. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. There is something, uh, well, there is something that I, well, actually, this uh, this is part of Asian, Asian cuisine. So, I don't know if you have that in Vietnam because I tried once I was traveling in, to another country. So... Yeah. Do you know what is ramen? Something like that. It's like noodles. Yeah. Yes. But I think that is Korean, right? Or do you have that in Vietnam? Yeah. Ramen. Uh, ramen or ramen, something like this. I don't remember the name, but it's a it's a Korean or Asian Asian food, Asian dish. Here is for dessert. Okay, so, and then uh, also, do you guys eat, uh, do you guys have fried, ch fried chicken? Is that uh, is something common there in Vietnam? Uh, uh, yeah, we have a uh, uh, KFC. Uh, fried uh, chicken? Yeah. Uh, would you like to see the picture? Yeah. Okay, let me show you. Uh, like you know, let me show you because I know in uh, in Tha Tha Thailand, Thailand, all right, they they eat fried chicken. Like, let me show you. Let me just show you here from the. Allow me just one second. Just one second, I'm gonna show, show you here in the screen. That's the fried chicken, you know. So I'm gonna show you the way how it's being prepared in Thailand. As I know that Thailand is close to Vietnam, I think. Yeah. Thailand is not too far away from Vietnam, right? Um, I think uh, no. Okay. 
So let me show you. So because I know that in Thailand you well, I know that in Tha in Thailand they they cook this type of chicken. Let me show you. Hey, just to make sure that you also have it in Vietnam. Look at there. I'm referring this one. Mm. I know we, we, we're going to finish this class very hungry. We're going to end up <laughs> <laughs> eating a lot of food here. So I'm referring this one. All right. Yeah. Do you have this in Vietnam? Yes. Oh, nice. We always eat a uh, fried chicken with uh, some uh, potatoes. Oh, yeah, French fries. Yeah, French fries. Yes, French fries. French fries like that. Let me show you. That is French fries. So normally you're going to, uh, let me write it for you. Yeah. Yeah, so do you like that? Uh, no, I like uh, chicken. Oh, only the chicken. All right. Those are French fries, but also in English, all right, we call them chips. So it depends. Normally in the UK, so in the UK, they call them chips. So let me show you. No chips, like <laughs> this one, those, all right? You see? Yeah. So then in, in the UK, or especially in England, so they call them chip bugs, but here, here in America, so we call them French fries. That is French fries in America. So look at here. So for uh, maybe if you listen to chips, you know that that is British. If you listen to French fries, all right. So that is yes. more from here, all right. Maybe in Canada or maybe in the United States. So North America. So you're gonna you're gonna listen to this, the whole American continent. All right, so let's continue. Let's just go back to our topic. Okay. So now let's go back to the exercise number the exercise number five, number five, I'm sorry then we are going to find a phrase in each profile that means I like to be with. Let's just go back. Okay, so I want you to tell me which, which of these expressions stands for I like to be with. So let's just start with Rose. Yeah. So I I like being around really confident people and also people who share the same interests as me. <laughs> that is correct. That is correct. <laughs> I like being around really confident people and also people who share the same interests as me. That is correct. That is right. Well done. Pretty good. So, and what about Abigail? Let me see here in her profile, Tao. Uh, I think Abigail is, uh, I get around with funny people. Say it right? again, please. Uh, is, I get on well, is, I get on well with funny people. Oh, I get on, I get on. So I get, get on. on, yeah, because you I can, get on. so you have the T. So, well, let me tell you something. Uh, here, this is, there is a fact over here I want to show you. When you pronounce this, if you are talking about maybe this common standard English or maybe the European English, so you're gonna refer to I get on. So get on, they will say like, I get on. But if, it's, yeah. if you're referring to the way how we speak here, English language, so you're gonna say, get on, get on. Um, okay. Kind of like you just, just join yeah. and the T is like pronounced like R. So you say, get, yeah. on. get on, get on. 
Get on. So in this case, I get on well with funny people. I get on well with funny people. That is correct. All right. So right. we got the number five. Well done, Tao. Let's continue here. So then we have the next uh, exercise. That is something I would like to, to show you here before anything else. So look at what we are going to do, pretty much using the, the test we are having it in, the, in the lesson, in the slide. Yeah. So we are going to circle all modifying adverbs, right? In the profile, then after that, we have the option to translate. But I know that it may take a little bit of a class and, and my intention is that you understand very well all the information that is being given. And I would like you to read that for me first before we do anything else, before we do anything else. So I'd like you to read this here. Could you please be so kind, Tao, and read it for me? Uh, modifying adverbs. We use modifying modifying adverbs to make the meaning of adjectives stronger. Adjectives. Adjectives. Adjective. Adjective. Okay. Yeah, adjectives stronger or uh, weaker. Okay. Most very or uh, slightly a bit a bit very, uh, very um, slight slightly a bit or uh, informal informal that's right quite empty and last one rather rather comes down to negative in English to if not with an adject adjective. So we often use not very instead, instead, but the meaning is the same as not. He is not very friendly. Uh, it's similar to he is not friendly. Yeah, let me just explain you this just in case. That's a uh, pretty much a grammar chart. So yeah. the thing is that in English or uh, in our variety of English, so in English, we have the following. So sometimes there are some adjectives, such as very, slightly, a bit. Those are some, somewhat informal, yeah? Because if you want to refer that something is very or it's not very, very, so we have some synonyms, all right? Like just to, uh, let, let's say, not to use the higher degree of the adjective. So we can say slightly or a bit. It's kind of like, for example, there is a situation, there is a situation in which you do not want to refer that is, this is something that is a very big problem, for example. Well, you know it's a big problem, but in order for you to keep it like, you know, no create like, you know, a chaos, maybe to avoid rumors or something like that, or maybe to avoid, avoid exaggerations. So you say, oh, it's just slightly, it's just slightly, all right? Or maybe it's a bit, but even you know that it might be like, you know, more than that, but we say like, it's a bit complex, all right? It's just slightly different, but in fact, they may be like, or too little to more than a little. Do you understand that? Yeah. Perfect. So Tao, let's continue here with this exercise. So we are going to circle all modifying adverbs in the profile. Let me give you an example. Look at here. So I am quite friendly. So when you say when you're saying I'm quite friendly, what are we saying in this case, Tao? Uh, is Quite. Like uh, I'm friendly. When you say, for example, look at here, because what happens here is that it modifies. It modifies the meaning or the intention of what you are trying to communicate. 
For example, you say, I am quite, I am quite a friendly person. So you may like, it's not like you are a quiet person. It's not that you are a quiet person, but you are saying that you are uh, friendly enough. Understand that? Yes. Okay, so I'm quite a friendly person and, and rather sensitive. So you're referring that you are friendly enough. <laughs> Not that the person is quiet or maybe it's, you know, like uh, tranquil or shy. No, no, no. Just that yes. the person is, is friendly enough in that particular case. So let's continue. What is the next one you can identify? Mm, I can use uh, my friend says I'm not sometimes slightly impression and I can't be a bit lazy about schoolwork. Uh, the most modified adverb is the slightly, slightly and a bit. Yeah, in that particular case. So let's see here in this exercise. So here we are going to identify those um, modifying adverbs, all right? So the yeah. first one, I am quiet. So what is the second one? Uh, it's a, uh, uh, it's a father. Father, that is correct. And what is the next one? Uh, it's slightly, slightly. Slightly, that is correct. And the next one? A bit. A bit, that is correct. So let me see here, I'm sorry. So slide it a bit, all right? Just a little bit. <laughs> so let's continue. Yeah. Any other? Uh, I think uh, really. Really, that is correct. Any other? Mm. Yeah, uh, a so bit. Let's continue with, it, with Abigail, all right? Abigail, yeah. so the first one, what is going to be what is going to be the first one for you? Uh, I think it's uh, very. Say that again. Uh, very. Pretty. Pretty. Uh oh. Pretty, right? Pretty. Yes. So then, after that, mm -hmm. is there any other adjective you can identify? Uh, Nick is very. Okay, very loyal. What else? Uh, 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 quiet. Quiet, that's right. So, and the neck is uh, very, I'm not, not very. Not very. So, which is the opposite, you know, the negative. So the next yeah. one, what's the next one? Is, uh, I think, uh, not, okay. I think, yeah. there's no more. So look at here, um, so we are having, as you already read the modif, uh, as you already learned how to use the modifying adverbs, so I want you to look at the modifying adverbs in the profile, all right? We already saw them in, in the previous exercise. So then we have like quiet, rather slightly a bit, really pretty, very quiet and not very. So we got them over there. So here in this exercise, we are going to do this. So we are going to choose the correct word in the rules. So number one, a modifying adverb, right? Adverbs yeah. usually go before or after the adjective. Which one is going to be the correct choice? Um, I think the correct choice is before. Before the adjective, that is correct. So number two, the modifying adverb, okay? <laughs> Yeah. What is it? Uh, Fine, very. Before, before. My adverb fight goes before or uh, uh, when this 
when there is or now? I think it's five. Before and, and when there is, there is a noun. So let me see. You think that is five? Yeah. And what about number number three? A bit and a slightly. Okay, listen to this. A bit and a slightly are used with adjectives with positive or negative meaning. Yeah, mm, it's a uh, most positive. So let's see here, just to make sure. So this one, number one is before, which is correct. This one, number two, that is correct. And number three is for negative meaning. Yeah. Because you're referring to something that is negative, but you are trying to like, you know, uh, to use it, you know, in a way that is not like tall. It's not tall enough, tall enough. All right, mm -hmm. so let's continue. Right. <laughs> Number eight. So we are going to add the modifying adverbs in the brackets, brackets, I'm sorry, to the sentences. So number one, do you understand? Yeah. Five yeah. Yeah. So I am creative, I am ambitious. So yeah. pretty or not very? Uh, it's, I'm uh, not very creative, I'm very ambitious. 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 Yeah. Okay. Ambitious. I'm pretty. Look at this. I am pretty, pretty creative. I'm not very ambitious. So number two. My uh, best friend. Uh, is a bit, I think a bit confident, but impatient. My best friend is confident but impatient. And what do you think it, is that going to be? Rather, or uh, you say a bit? Uh, uh, what is your opinion? Uh, I think my best friend is uh, rather confident but uh, a bit impatient. It's, uh, in that case, my friend, okay, my best friend is rather confident, but a bit impatient, just in case, you know? Yeah. Number, number three, let me mm -hmm. ask you, my brother is serious and shy. And shy. What is going to be the proper adjective? Uh, Pretty or like? Uh, uh, I think he, my brother is a uh, uh, very serious and slightly shy. That is correct. Well done. He's a friendly person. He's a friendly person, but has arrogant. Yeah. It's like contradictory, you know, but actually. Uh, it's not. So number four, he is a friendly person, but he's arrogant. What do you think about it? He is he's a very friendly person, but he is a bit arrogant. <laughs> arrogant. Arrogant. Okay, number five. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. She is an honest person. She is sensitive. So what's your opinion? Quiet or not very? Uh, she is an, she's uh, quiet, honest person. Um, she is not very sensitive. Okay, let's see, let's check. So she's quiet, okay, and honest person. She's not very sensitive. That is right. That is correct. I can see all of them, they were good. So it's yeah. one of them that I think you have some issues with, but the majority was well. Okay, yeah. so now look at what we are going to do. Let me see what time is it. Okay, so I think the time is over, but I still have to I have time to to tell you what to do. 
So let me ask you something. So this is about yourself. You are going to write your personal profile similar to the ones you saw before in number one. Do you remember? Uh, yeah. Yeah, like, uh, for example, look at here. So what is your name? My name is Phong Tao. You can call me Tao. Okay, and what is your age? And I'm uh, 14 years old. 14 years old. Let me yeah. see. What about your personality? What are you like? Uh, uh, I'm a friendly and a bit shy. A bit, you, may, you mentioned friendly and a bit shy? Yeah. Okay. It's a combination of both, all right? Okay. And let me tell you something, Tao. What type of people you like and or you don't like? Uh, I like I like a uh, friendly person, uh, funny, and uh, don't um, person and funny and uh, friendly, friendly and funny. And what about people you don't like? Uh, uh, I don't like uh, people uh, the, like dishonest people and uh, dishonest, dishonest people. Yeah. Right? And, yeah. and what are your hobbies? My hobby is uh, I'm interested in uh, playing playing board and uh, reading book. You say the volleyball, basketball. Basketball. Who's breaking up? Yeah. Okay, playing basketball and okay, playing uh, basketball and reading books, right? Yes. Fantastic. Well, Tao, let me talk about your. Uh, let's talk about the homework for the uh, for the next class. So, yeah. let me see. What was the last page you covered? So, for the next class, I am going to assign you this, like to write. Uh, that's gonna be your assignment. Look at this one. You're going to write your personal profile about yourself. So something like better, better than because we just have a conversation. But in fact, is to write it. I just came, I just wrote this whole word so that you can yeah. have any type of idea in regards of how to do this. So then you're going to say um, you're, you're going to create your own profile. In addition to this, I would like to ask you something. So in your workbook, what was the last page you worked? Uh, I think it's uh, thir 13. 13, right? Wasn't it yeah. was 14? Could you please show me the, uh, do you have your workbook in the handy? Okay, if, if you can, so I can just, Look at it real quick. Uh, yes. Uh, last. Yeah, you did uh, this one. It was in the workbook, right? That's 13, right? Yes. Okay, so let me see. What if we do, let me see the 14 and 15. Wow. Is it going to be so much for you? Do you think you can do it? Yeah. Okay, so, but you know, you have, okay, nice. So you have, okay. 13, you have 14. Page 13, 14, that's your homework. And yeah, okay. the profile. Yeah. Isn't, okay. that, isn't that going to be so much? Isn't this no. so much for you? No. Okay, perfect. No. Well, Tao, thank you so much for your time. I wish you have a fantastic rest of the day and study as much as you can. See you next class. Okay, thank you. See you in the class. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye.